Hey, it's me again. Today I'm going to provide you an introduction to Java and to NetBeans. You'll learn your way around NetBeans a little bit. You'll learn how to create a project, a package, and a simple Java class, and you'll learn how to run them. These will be important tools for you to be able to complete the assignments to come. This is NetBeans. NetBeans is an integrated development environment that we use for, for Java programming. Yeah, now, if you've already been in NetBeans, you may find that your IDE doesn't look like this. It doesn't come up like this. This is the starting page. There's a little checkbox over here that determines whether this, start, this starting page comes up or doesn't. If you haven't been in NetBeans before, you may find that these items on the left don't show up. And if you have been in before, if you click on this icon, it will restore this window group for you to see. Whether you have or you haven't been in, the first thing that we need to do is create a project. And we do that by clicking on this little orange square with the green plus to create a new project. Now you want to create, you want to choose a Java, Java as the category, Java application as the project, and click Next. And then we need to pick ourselves a project name. Now you can organize your source code in a variety of different ways. One way that you can do it is by having a separate Java project for each week or each assignment. Or you can consolidate all your source under one project. I'm going to do the latter myself and create a project called PRG420. Now make sure also that this create class create main class checkbox is unchecked and click finish. So the so NetBeans did a little bit of work for us here. Now if we look under source packages you'll see there's a default package. Well we don't want to use the default. We want to create our own. If you think of packages they're they're kind of like folders, but they're operating system independent. So I'm going to come over here and click on source packages and right click and create a new Java package. Now the typical naming convention is something like this. But you can use your own. Just make sure you don't have spaces in it. Once you've got it completed, click finish. And it's created a package for you. And then the last thing that we need to do here is right click on the package and create a Java class. We're going to be doing writing a welcome program. And so I'm going to call my class welcome and then click finish. Now again, the IDE did a little bit of work for us and it's created the class. You'll notice that it created over here a class called welcome.java and then inside here it's called welcome. It's important that this and this match. If you use the IDE it'll handle that for you. You also should notice that there's a header comment at the top and there's also a, a header or a comment just above my new class. Um, in the, included in the course materials is a document called the standard standard Java template and it will explain to you what goes in these headers and comments. But for now we're going to just do something really simple to get you started. So every, in it, regardless of the language, every program has an entry point or a starting point. In a standard Java program like this, the entry point is public static void main string args like this. You'll get pretty used to typing that. And then we'll write our program actually within this main for this simple one. Now I'm going to be in a future lecture talking about how to do design and development of your program. But because this is so simple we won't really go through that much here. We're going to write basically a, a one-liner and what we'll be doing is, is calling a method. A method is like a function or a subroutine. 
And this particular method will be printing out the line or the, or the string statement that we tell it to. So we do it like this, system.out.println. Notice there's not an I or an E in print line. And then within the parentheses here, we're going to put some double quotes. And we're going to say, welcome to PRG 420. It's both in quotes. Make sure you have a semicolon at the end. And that's our program. Now, we want to be able to run it. So what you're going to do is you're going to, just out here in the middle somewhere, right click and go down to run file. Now what NetBeans has just done is it compiled, built, and ran your program. And it displayed the results down here in the output window. Now you may notice that up here at the top you have a build and you have a run and you have a debug. But they're all associated with the project Okay, but right now we don't have any class associated with the project. Sure, we only have one class. I mean, how hard would it be, right? But it's not associated with it. I want to show you how to do that. So if you come over here to projects, to our project, PRG420, and you right click on it, come down to properties and click on properties, and then under categories, look for run, You'll notice here that the main class is blank. And if I click on Browse, and I pick the class, it wasn't too hard because there's only one, and select Main, it's now associated this welcome class that we just created as the main class for the project. Click OK. Now, if, I'm, if I click on this green arrow to run, it just ran this particular file when it ran the project. Now, when you add another class file in there, you're going to have to go through that little process again so that you associate that one. Because you can only have one uh, running uh, class associated with the project.